We are from Rootstein, one of the, not, I think one of the bigger uh, websites in Belgium. Great. We have about 200,000 people. They, they come to our site wow. for the tickets, for the reviews uh, on the CDs, great. on the live performances, and like today on the interviews. That's great. Luther Dickinson, welcome. Thank you. You have done your first set. Everything went as expected. Yes. Totally smooth. There were a lot of people watching you, listening to you, very constant. It was fixed beautiful. in a good, good uh, environment. It was a beautiful scene with the natural amphitheater, the sun going down. Beautiful. Beautiful scene. Yeah. But I cannot introduce you for our followers by referring to the family. Right. Yes. You, what we call it, it's the Dickinson dynasty. Wow! <laughs> I would have called it the clan, but it, it, no, sounds, no, it sounds a bit yeah, negative. Yeah. But I call it the Dickinson clan, because why? Your father, Jim Dickinson, Jim. he stole everything. He was a singer, piano player, producer, and frontman. I thought he has his own studio. Yes. Yes. Later on, he got Two sons, I think. That's right. I don't know about the rest of the no, family. No, just the two. Just two sons yeah. in front of me. Uh, Luther, one part of the North Mississippi All Stars. You have uh, formed it with your brother Cody in 1996. Was it a project that is finished, or how should I see the? North Mississippi All Stars. Oh, we're working on our next record. It's a celebration of 25 years yeah. of our first record. It came out in 2000. Yeah. And it was all hill country traditional blues. And ever since then, we've just been doing whatever we wanted. But we're making a celebration record called Still Shaking um, to celebrate the 25th anniversary of our first album. Yeah. I was working on it today um, at the apartment here in town. And uh, so I'm really happy about it. So new record next year. And we, we promise to come back to Belgium. Yeah, you're going to tour again. Yes. With your brother and yes. the band. Yes. Great to be that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Can I say, uh, Luther, that you were in a way destined to become a musician? Or did you do other things or were there things in your head that you said, I wanted also to become a pizza man, I don't know, whatever. But. No, I always knew I wanted to play guitar. And I wasn't natural. And my father did not, uh, you know, encourage me in a way, you know, he, he just told me, he's like, you got to keep practicing, you know. I wasn't a natural, but I knew I wanted to do it. My whole life, I've just been focused on the guitar and music. And, and I just kept, I still practice every day, just practice and try. Try to get better. It's hard. Music is ever humbling, and uh, there's always something that's but gonna. gonna we, we cannot say that that you're not good. So I'm I was that's right. it's when I see you playing this afternoon, you're so. I I cannot explain that, but you're great. I love it. I love it. I'm so fortunate. But and you get out of your guitar. That's. <laughs> Thank you. That, that, that's great. But for me, it's always been guitar. And I like a uh, creative process, you know, writing, putting the projects together, producing, uh, writing songs, collecting songs, recording. Um, but for me, it's all music and family. That's it. No hobbies. I can't fix the sink. I don't, I don't go fishing. On, <laughs> on this moment, <laughs> you, uh, what is your, your main work or your biggest... Uh, Right work. Now. Yeah. The, and at this moment, for are the you new. doing things for your own or working up with uh, projects uh, with other persons? Or Mainly focus on the new North Mississippi project. I'm Mississippi producing some right. records for friends, yeah. but um, mainly North Mississippi is the focus. Yeah. Today you're on the poster of Softie Blues. Right. It's a young festival, not a very big festival, but it's a festival for uh, free. People yeah. can come and enjoy the music on two stages, so it's, it's great. Uh, My favorite uh, shows, concerts are like this, where you have three generations. You know, yeah. you have like my people with our children mm -hmm. and our parents. Like, there's three generations. You know, yeah. the older generation 
You, you guys are the first original rock and rollers. That's you guys are rock harder than we ever will. That's true. You know, so I love the three generations. That's my favorite. This is my favorite type of concert. What do you prefer? Doing your own thing with uh, a duo like today, uh, solo, but because you're today on, this, on the poster again with Ian Seagal. Yes, uh, my old friend Ian Siegel. Yeah. And we'll play tonight. Yeah, I love it all. How, how did you prepare yourself for today? Um, because you knew you had to do something with your old friend. Yes. Yeah, we rehearsed yesterday. We came into town and rehearsed yeah. yesterday. So you met and you, what are we going to do? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Tell us something about it. How, how do you prepare yourself for today? Well, we just make the list and go back and think of what we have done in the past and what common what areas. Oh, already did in the past. Yeah. Or, or, or new things. Yeah, because, you know, like with Ian, we have, you know, this, you know we made yeah. so many records that, that, with Ian. That's not new, man. That's yeah. go back in the past. <laughs> yeah, but it's a good uh, touch, you know, it helps us. But there wasn't yesterday evening that you said to take your guitar, let's do a small tryout, or you didn't prepare anything. Yeah. Life. Yeah. Oh yeah, we did. We rehearsed yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And what? what and we... before that, we were texting. When we had a list. Oh yes. Uh, we would do the emails for the yeah. last week of the songs that's, and ideas. It's my next question. What? Who has? made up or set up the, the list, the set it, list. Ian and I did. It's yep. already prepared and yeah. you, you know what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Well... <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two difficult persons, you yeah, never know. Exactly. <laughs> what exactly. must we expect this evening? Uh, with Ian, we'll do some of Ian's songs, a couple of Hill Country uh, songs, some blues, and um, uh, it'll just be a good time. I you're, love Ian. is such a fantastic singer. You're not you're not alone on the on stage. You're, no. you're, you need a, a bass player, a, a drummer. No, uh, we have drums and um, and two guitars. Okay. So I will just I'll take care of the bass on the guitar. You're hmm. not afraid to no. to tackle the no, the people. I'm, not afraid. I'm sure about <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, about your studio uh, okay. studio work, may I ask you something about your albums? Please. We, your name is on a lot of albums as a guest or a, why is that, why do you do that? Is that because of you want to do as far as possible going with other people on, on, on stage or into the studio and... The music is, it's like food, it's like variety, is the spice of life, you know, and I feel like the more types of of food or music you can try, the better, you know? Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll always encourage any new um, endeavor, any new style. And when a friend calls me up to, to work with them, I'm, it's, I'm always honored that they would think of me. So no, I love, I love working with, with whoever. Um, and I get that from my father because you know, he was a, um, a session man. He worked yeah. for Atlantic Records and, and he was a session player. And that um, he, he did the same. Yeah, 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 and and I love that mentality of, of it's it's one thing to play rock and roll and write songs and play your own songs, but to be able to to work, you know, to to work for Mavis Staples or to work for John Hyatt or to work for C60, even to be able to help them. I you um, know I know saying that you want to play I love about it. everything. I love it. I yeah. love it. And I also, um, you know, I'm 51 now. Ooh, that's very and I have a lot of young musicians that that I, uh, you know, bring along. But I love working with uh, anyone. We've been working with Bobby Rush. Bobby yeah, Rush. I love working with older. That's musicians. a soul man. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. man, it's fantastic. Yeah. So anytime I get to 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 me, it's it's just one big army of love and like any music, you know, like whatever we all have to do together just to put the positive vibrations out. I just think it's important. I think you did five uh, solo albums on your name. Maybe, maybe four. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't oh. know, but I just... I, <laughs> four. I only four or five you did on your own solo, on right. your own name, yes. The latest one, not the last one, I hope. Um, the latest one was uh, called Blues and Ballads. Yes. Yes. A folk singer songbook, volume one and two. 
Why did you choose that specific style or why did you want to go into the roots of the American music, I think? Well, I love two things that I love. I love acoustic, folk. Yeah, so that, that, that could we hear this often. Yeah. Great, great, man. Thank you. It's great. And I love songbooks. I collect songbooks. You know, um, what do you mean by collecting? You, you search for names or for uh, no, periods? Or? Yeah, like old time songbooks or old hymnals or, or, or Jimi Hendrix songbook or the Beatles songbook or whoever. I just love songbooks. Uh, Brazilian folk music, whatever. I just love books <laughs> with music. And I wanted to make a, make a book yeah. of my songs. And I, A, I wanted to record them acoustically as opposed to with a rock and roll band. Yeah. And then I wanted to make a songbook. Uh, so that was the inspiration to do that. I, can I say it's somewhere your, an overview of, yes. what you, of what you did right. in your career? Yeah, yeah that's right. That, but that's not the end. No, no, it's, no. I it's, got to do volume is, three. Yeah, is that the base for going further or yeah. doing new things? Or? Yeah. yeah. Right now I'm working on a project, many projects, but one is uh, with uh, Mardi Gras, uh, New Orleans, Mississippi. Yeah. Uh, Mississippi music and New Orleans Mardi Gras music together. That's one project that I've been but working on previously. You don't know a date or that, that you say that's, no. that's for the next month or the next... As soon as possible. Yeah. As soon as possible, because you're doing a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. but a little bit here and there. A little bit there. Take well, my time. Okay, Luther, I have some general questions uh, cool. to finish the, our chat. What's a typical day for you if you're not a musician? If Do I'm you have days that you say, I'm not a musician, I go out, I drink some better coffee, or I have... Do you have hobbies? I don't know. No, no. I, I, I just... Uh, you're one of the guys I that's only a musician. No, yeah, no, my no. kids, my children, yeah. and my music, you know, so I try to wake up early yeah. and work as long as I can in the morning, you know, be it... Uh, creative. Composing, no, doing, doing something with whatever. music. Yeah. yeah, be it producing or composing or producing or administration or whatever I have to do, I try to do as much first thing. And then the day gets, then the... That rests? Well, no, no, rest. then, the, then the real work begins, you know. Either the family wakes up and uh, I'm a family man. There are days when I'm just all family, but I do work a little bit. I'm always thinking about music. But, uh, but then when I'm on tour, you know, when I drive all day, I do, do everything, so... Uh, and you have two da daughters. Yeah, yeah, two daughters. It's not yeah. so easy, I suppose. Oh, they're fantastic. <laughs> three, three women in the house. It's fantastic, I'm lucky. Like one was the boss, that's you. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, you're very young. You're, you, 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 said us, you told us you're 51? 51. You're a young guy. That's right. You're a young guy. Do you have still things open on what they always call the bucket list? Things that you mm -hmm. surely want to do? Well, I really, really want to explore... Because you're a guy that's always busy with music, but there must be other things. Or, they, or do you say, I still have people that I want to play with or places yeah. that I want to go to and perform on stage? Well, I, I don't know. I want to go to uh, South America, Central America. I, I really because of the roots of the music. Yeah, or of the I'm just fascinated. I just feel like uh, there's something there for me that I don't know yet, but I want to. Explore you know that, that Paul Simon was one of the guys. He first did it. Right. He went to South Africa. Yeah. A great album. So yes, you, you want also to go that way and yeah. look yeah. for music that shoots you to. To record and that would be to great. put on the album. Yeah, and also uh, South America too, Brazil. And, um, so more exploration, you know. Yeah, you must keep your ads uh, open. But I always keep one foot in Mississippi at home too. We were just uh, at Charday's picnic last weekend, yeah. so um, it's very important to me to to stay in touch with my friends back home, the musicians of Mississippi. What was the best advice that somebody gave you? Wow, so much good advice. The, uh, the, the advice that you ever 
Dinge. When I was 16, my father was like. You were still a, you were already a musician. Well, no? I said starting I, up, yes. Yeah, I just practiced. Practice. But he was like, look, you have a guitar, an amp, and access to a car. And he says, you you say you want to do this. What are you doing? Like, go do it. And he literally just pushed me out the door to go figure out a he, way. He forced you to do it. Yeah. Well, he said, if you if you say you want to do it, go do it. You know, and I've been out doing it ever since. It was pretty good advice because I was just a lazy kid, you know. Yeah. I was just sitting around the house. He's like, what are you doing? Go do it. Do it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I have a last question. Uh, has being a musician made you become a different or a, maybe a better person? Mm. Um. Did that change you as a person? Well, music is ever humbling. There's always something that will. How, how do you mean? Humble. Against the uh, people, uh, yeah. for the people you play for. Right, like maybe there's a, a fantastic musician. Oh. You're like, whoa, or or something happens. Yes. It's just like it's like, oh, you know. But that's just another day. You know, mm -hmm. music keeps you humble for sure, um, and it's ever fascinating the study of if if you stay engaged. There's always something new to learn and to be mm -hmm. fascinated with about with music. So I think maybe you know it keeps you honest and keeps you inquisitive. And you know I've been I'm fortunate to to be able to make a living. And has it helped you to become better as a person? Oh, I, I, I think you, maybe you different. Know, I think that to be honest, I think music can be abused and people can use it as an excuse to be bad people. Oh. You know, if you think about it, you know, music and the whole thing, you know, it's like it really can enable mm -hmm. uh, bad parts of people's personalities and instincts. Mm -hmm. So you really have to stay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think music is, is devious. You got to stay centered to, to, to be good. Okay. <laughs> Luther Dickinson, that were my questions. We thank you for your, what we always say, your roots time. <laughs> for roots time, I hope that you have enjoyed until now the festival. Love it. And I'm sure that you're going to do a great show with uh, Mr. Seagal. Thank you. Thank you a lot. My pleasure, thank you. Thank you.